giant space arc fires its fusion rockets. Inside the ship are thousands of human volunteers. They're on a one-way mission to colonize a distant planet. One day, we will have to make this journey. It's inevitable that we go off planet. I think we're gonna have to do it to survive as a species. The Ark's first target is the closest star system to the sun, Alpha Centauri. And the journey will be long, around 40 years. Keeping the crew fit and healthy is imperative, but it won't be easy. A lot of things happen to the human body when you go into space. The moment you become weightless, you instantly get kind of a full-headed feeling. You get dizzy. That can make you feel nauseous. Leroy Chow spent six months on the International Space Station, long enough to experience the damaging effects of zero gravity. Your bones aren't feeling any impact, so your body decides it doesn't need bones anymore, and it'll begin to demineralize your bones. And then your muscles, through disuse, of course, they'll naturally atrophy very quickly. The human body evolved to live with Earth's gravity. Without it, bones lose 2% of their mass for every month spent in space. The cardiovascular system suffers too. Body fluids pool. Heart rate and blood pressure rise. Resistance training helps reduce the symptoms. We're scheduled for two hours of exercise a day on the space station to keep our cardiovascular system fit, to keep our muscles and our bones fit. Exercising can hold off the dangerous wasting process. But a 42-year journey to Alpha Centauri without gravity would be fatal. Obviously, we need a permanent solution to weightlessness. There's nothing to prevent us in the near future from creating artificial gravity. The answer is centrifugal force. It's the force that sticks daredevil bikers to vertical walls and keeps thrill seekers glued to their seats in theme parks. Rotation produces this outward force and creating it in a spaceship would be relatively simple. By rotating a space capsule, it means that the astronauts inside will experience artificial gravity. Spinning the living quarters at just the right speed will hold off bone and muscle wasting. But as they journey deep into space, low gravity is the least of the dangers our pioneers will face.